A lot of people believe that a fixed or growth mindset is about whether you're positive or negative or generally optimistic or pessimistic. And so it's understandable why students kind of think, look, that's not directly going to affect me and my studies. So, you know, that's kind of motivational stuff and I'll put it to one side. So what I want to do is take a couple of examples of situations in everyday life, studying and not studying, and take a look at how the fixed and growth mindsets would react to that. And then let's talk about the direct impact that that has. And I want you to think about how directly the way that you think about stuff and your internal narrative, your instinctive response to stuff is going to impact what you do. So the first situation I'm going to do as an example is, let's say you're with friends and they suggest doing an activity or playing a game or playing a sport that you, you kind of know you're not really very good at. Let's take a look at the way that a fixed mindset would respond to that and how that would impact your actions and what that would mean and how growth mindset would respond to that and how that would impact your actions and your decisions. And then we'll take a look at a couple of other examples as well. Oh no, I've never been good at sports. So you you go on ahead without me. I'm just I'm not I'm not gonna play. I've never I've never really been athletic. What's the impact here? One, you're not going to do something. You've stepped back from an opportunity to do something. And the reason that you've stepped back is because you're not good at it. So in your mind, there's no point in doing something unless you're good at it. Why? Probably because you're worried about what people will say about you and the fact that you're going to feel stupid because you're not good at something. Yeah, well, sure, let me give it a try. I haven't played that for years and I honestly was never really that good at it. But yeah, let's give it a try. See how it goes. What's the impact of the growth mindset here? You're going to step forward and take part in something regardless of whether you're good at it or not. That is not the only reason for you to take part in something. It may just be about spending some time with your friends, having a good laugh, and whether or not you're good at it is not the deal breaker between whether or not you do something or you don't do something. Oh, the first few lessons really didn't go well. Uh, it's so obvious I don't have talent in the sport. <laughs> wow, I was really bad. What's the impact of the fixed mindset here? You're not going to carry on doing this because as far as you're concerned, you don't have talent. And so if you don't have talent and you, you believe that you're never going to be good at it, so there's no point in carrying on. Again, notice that for you, the only point in carrying on would be if you were good at it and you were going to achieve at it. So it wouldn't be about just enjoying yourself doing the sport. Um, it would have to be that you're going to be good at it. You're going to, to have some kind of outcome, win something or go further in it or, or whatever the case is. So one, you don't do stuff just because it's enjoyable. You Two, if you don't have talent, you're never going to be able to do anything different to what you're doing now. You had a few lessons, didn't go well, and so it's never going to be any different. So you may as well just stop. Yeah, the first few lessons haven't really gone very well. I've learned a little bit though. Um, I made some like small progress, so I'm gonna stick with it and see. I mean, who, who knows? Who knows where I'll be if I if I keep going with this? What's the impact of the growth mindset here? One, you may carry on doing this just because it's enjoyable. The fact that you're not great at it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna stop doing it. Two. And even though you're aware of the fact that you don't seem to have an instinctive talent or an instinctive ability to just jump in there and do really, really well, that doesn't change your feeling that you can improve and that you can actually do a little bit better. And there's also that awareness that what you're capable of doing in like a year's time may have no bearing on what you're capable of doing now. And this is a reality. The reality is that in, in a lot of cases, what you're able to do today bears no representation of your potential in the future. Um, it doesn't, there's no such thing as if you don't have innate talent right now, you're never going to be amazing at something, right? Um, there's a very good possibility that you're completely terrible at something now. And by carrying on and doing something and, 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 and working on it, you may be absolutely amazing at it, but you're aware of the fact that that is a journey.